So welcome to part two of this tutorial of using PrimeWin for image processing. In this part we will see how to create NDVI images and how to classify images. So to create an NDVI image in PrimeWin we have to use the image arithmetic function. We'll click on the arithmetic button here and we get a small dialog. We have to provide the input file on which we are calculating the NDVI. So in this particular case I'm going to go and pick up my 2009 October IRS file. I immediately come to see that it has 1153 rows, 1153 columns and 4 bands. I can optionally pick up another file having different bands but this is optional as you can see here. Next, you have to provide a name in which the NDVI image will actually be saved. That is the output file. So I'm going to go and give this file a name. So it's the same file name and I'm just going to extend it by using the word NDVI indicating that the output file is going to be called this thing which is an NDVI image. So to simply say save. So I have my output file name also ready. Next I need to enter an expression. Recall that uh, NDVI can actually be calculated using the formula near infrared minus red divided by near infrared plus red. So as we have already seen before uh, in this uh, imagery band 3 is the infrared band and band 2 is the red band so the expression that I need to type here is band 3 minus band 2 divided by band 3 plus band 2 and the way I will actually do that is to come here to this box and maybe before that come to this box pick up a bracket then come to this box and say band 3 notice that band our band is actually written as FB3 and not as B3 so FB3 minus FB2 close bracket divide open bracket FB3 plus FB2 close bracket so now that you know that a band can actually be written as FB2 you can also type this expression directly here one very important thing is to uh, come to this output window here and make sure that the 8-bit unsigned is actually changed to 32-bit float. The reason is that NDVI values are in decimal points. So we want to actually see the actual uh, NDVI values once the image has actually been computed. So we are now all set to just go ahead and create the NDVI image and we will just press proceed so the NDVI image is actually created and we can now close this dialog and open a viewer a viewer opens up and then I can just click here and load my NDVI image so I'm just going to go scroll down pick this up this is my NDVI image and say open this NDVI image is open like what I have already told you before a box opens in this particular case the NDVI image is only one band so we don't have much to choose from it's already filled in just say load and close and the NDVI image will actually be picked up so we can see how the NDVI index has actually been computed by going to a bright area which possibly indicates high vegetation as we have already seen uh, in the original image so we can go to any area for that matter right click and say numeric values so what you see actually here is the calculated value of NDVI at a particular point so the pro point which I clicked on had this NDVI value and then I can go and click on another point and the NDVI value rises dramatically to 0 0.55 so we are seeing this in three ba bands because all the guns are actually showing the same band so the same value is repeated three times so you can go to any portion and see uh, how the NDVI value has actually been calculated these are the raw values so you can go into the lake and you can expect to see a negative value so that is minus 0 0.29 recall that NDVI is negative for water and some other features so how do we density slice this image say for example I wanted to show all the areas in water 
um, in a blue color so what I'm going to do is right click inside this lake and see my numerical value so this is minus 0 0.24 I can just inspect a little bit more 0 0.31 towards the edges about 0 0.30 this lake 0 0.26 this lake out here is 0 0.24 so maybe between minus 0 0.45 to minus 0 0.2 is water so what I can do to club all these values and show them in blue color is to go and click on this pseudo color button and I can just come here assign this a blue color which is my minus 0 0.44 and then just simply keep carrying this color down till about 0 0.20 so that is roughly the place click one more time so and then as you can see the lake is actually now appearing blue so maybe I can just carry this forward a little bit more to about 1.5 okay and say okay and as you can see some pixels uh, are still not water so we this is a hit and trial process next uh, we can you know sort of go from that particular point to about 0 okay and um, assign it some other color okay so in this manner uh, we can actually uh, classify different ranges or give a color or density slice an NDVI image and ascribe it colors for different ranges of NDVI and create a color coded NDVI image next we'll try to see how to classify an image so to classify an image just click on classify and you have a small dialog you can choose from supervised or unsupervised classification let me first show you supervised classification click on supervised and you have a window so you can just simply load the image on which you wish to uh, perform the classification I'm going to go and pick up my Bhopal image and here you can actually create a false color composite as before by picking up the bands if there is a problem you can just clear it and click and redo it and so here we have um, a false color composite that we are trying to uh, create here and then load and close so I have an image that is being displayed uh, in this particular window next um, I will just click on this button to get my full resolution window this is important so I'll just click here and I get my full resolution window and a small rectangle so this window is actually showing the portion that is being shown here in the rectangle if I want to see another part of this image I will just go to the left top corner inside this is important so just move your mouse to the left inner corner of this rectangle as uh, you can see uh, uh, right here and then uh, depress your left uh, mouse button and then move it to a different area and the moment you drop you will see that area appear here in uh, this particular uh, high resolution window this high resolution window comes with its own tool toolbox so you can actually change bands here and you can also zoom in and zoom out okay so uh, this is what it is and this is very useful for picking up signatures so you will also notice that when I started my high resolution box I am now presented with uh, uh, a, a, a small dialog that has tools for me to give signatures so in supervised classification you have to first provide signatures so um, this can also be actually um, brought uh, or started by clicking on the tools icon okay so now what I'm going to do is that the first thing that I need to do is to just create a new sample file in which all my signatures will be stored so I'll just click on this and I will just simply name this file as BPL or any other name that you want and it will be saved as a SAM file I'll just save it so I have a file now 
okay and now I'm going to give a new class so I'll just click here so it wants the name of the class I will say water and then I have to change this to one two three four depending on the classes that you will be creating and what kind of color do I want to ascribe so this can also later on be changed but I like to do it right now click on this uh, sorry click on this and assign it a particular color once you are through you can press OK and your class will appear in this little box here so you can click on this class if you want to change the color you can click on the color and change this color um, at any particular time so just click on this class now to to provide a signature uh, you can just simply click on this button trace polygon and just simply say okay so it comes back and says do you want to add a sample to class water and that is precisely what I want to do so I'll just simply go here and say yes and then I will just click 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 and then to close the polygon go to the end and say right click so I have added one signature to uh, my water class I can go on and add another signature I can in fact actually also trace a signature so I can just click this it comes back and says do you want to add another one to water and I'm saying yes I want to show you another water polygon and I can you know kind of move this box to another area another kind of lake this is a different sample of water so now I will just simply go trace and the difference between these two is that in this one you have to click and close in this one you can actually keep your mouse button depressed and just simply draw a polygon so I'm going to draw a polygon another polygon has actually been picked and so I can give multiple samples this is a great thing with prime win okay next I'm starting a new class so this time it's going to be forest or vegetation and I'm going to give it class 2 and the color in which I'm going to see this is actually dark green and I'll say OK and then OK so this time I have this class I'll just click on this class and in a similar fashion navigate to or bring this window to a forest area which is this say for example I get my enlarged view and I will just click here and then just simply say trace a polygon so it's coming I add a new vegetation class I'm saying yes I want to do that and then I'll just come here and pick up and draw a polygon right click and close that particular polygon so this is my first signature and likewise I can actually also go ahead for example I can zoom into this particular point and say click zoom click zoom and then one more time just go and maybe this time just simply trace a polygon okay uh, I have to first say yes and then just simply go here and trace a polygon and add another sample to the vegetation class so this way I can just keep going and I have similarly collected a few other signatures I can preview my results just simply by going and clicking this particular button choosing a set of bands that I want to involve in my classification and then choosing one of the three classifiers and saying preview so once I do that I have my classification I can compare it to this image I can move it move this to a different part of the image this image changes the classification changes and I can compare the, the two together so once I'm happy with my classification all I need to do is to just simply go to proceed classification add my bands add provide a f uh, 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 input file name we already have all I need to do is to just simply provide a name for the output file a name for the report file both of them are important choose a classifier and just simply go ahead and say perform classification that classification is now done so what I'm seeing here is the report file and this report file shows you how many pixels are classified as water so there's a 4116 how many are classified as vegetation this is the percentage of vegetation that has been classified so you can multiply this with 24 square meters so 24 into 24 and multiply that figure with 4116 to get the area of uh, what has been classified as water okay